Jamaican, the Jamaican. Hey you guys, so today's wash day. I have not washed my locks since my birthday. This is not even a good thing. Well, how did I think this was a good idea? Like, my hair is really dirty, you guys. Well, it don't, it's not really dirty, but it's about time for me to wash my hair. I haven't washed it in a month and some change. Almost two months. That's too long. I'm using this shampoo today. My sister recommended it because she is locked as well and I trust her. She has no build up in her locks. I trust you, show me what it is I need to do. Just got back from the gym and I am ready to get in the shower. I was like, let me record this real quick because I don't smell too good, okay? So if you're new and you've been watching for a while, you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe because obviously you love my content. Also, cut on your notification bell so you can know every time I post. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So I am back and my hair is so clean, baby. So clean. Look at my scalp. Mm-hmm. So pretty. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Let's just see my texture. I'm definitely not a 4C. I don't know what I am exactly. So if y'all think you know, <laughs> then tell me. Cause your girl still trying to understand this. So I think that people get too obsessed with looking neat, having neat locks. And I've said this before. One thing I've learned and just people that are on their lock journey, they should learn to embrace their roots, literally their roots like the roots you know when you were loose natural and you started to embrace your hair the texture the stretch the coils the shrinkage and all that good stuff right that's the same thing with locks i feel like the way i look at my locks is when i don't have a retwist i think of myself as a loose natural only difference is that the bottom of the hair like 
this is all, you know, you can just, you can see the roots, but then this part is locked. So I'm just like, I don't see what difference, like what the difference is between being a loose natural and then being locked. I appreciate my hair once the retwist starts to like loosen up throughout the week. Once it's like, once it's dry, it's just fluffy. My roots are fluffy. Everything is just fluffy. And I feel like once I put a bead on it, ain't nothing you can tell me. I look at not getting a retwist as not having makeup on. You're not, you don't have the makeup on your hair. Some people, they don't like to go out looking like that. Some people, they don't mind. Like me, I'm learning and understanding that me walking out like this right now is not a problem because this is me. All this is me and I am not trying to cover it up or tame it down. So I feel like it's important to love your hair even without, even without you having a retwist. And that's something that I've, I've learned to love. I went out last weekend and I didn't really, it's not like I was stressing to like, oh my God, I need to retwist, my hair looks horrible. I think, well actually I used to care about like, oh my God, my hair, I need to retwist. Like when it's like really, really bad. And my hair started to get longer. I was like, you know what? This can work. Cause all I gotta do is make sure all these roots are packed in together and it looks good. Well, I went out last weekend and this is how I had my hair, I put it up in two buns, one in the front, one in the back, and oh, I thought it was the cutest thing. And because of this look, I did not want to retwist my hair. That's another reason why I extended it another week. For the second time I did this look, I did it again the week before when I was going to a birthday party and I was like, you know what, this looks, it's literally like I'm a loose natural, but I can tame my hair better. It, it's weird. I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say. When I was a loose natural, it's like, okay, trying to tame this part. And it takes forever to like pack it. But the only thing is with not retwisting your hair and trying to style it is just trying to tame the roots so it can, you know, look a certain way. And then the locks, the locks are already tamed because it's locked. I need this, okay? So I just feel like it's important to embrace your roots literally embrace the roots before you get a retwist. I retwist from six to eight weeks, but the longer this journey, I feel like I keep changing it. But it really just depends, maybe because Corona's outside and I really just don't have no, I don't have the ginger. But even if that, I don't feel like I have to like throw on a wig. I have not worn a wig. I haven't worn a wig since like January, you guys. Yeah, and I used to wear a wig when I felt like my hair needed a retwist. That ain't the case, baby. I'm gonna wear this shit all the time because this is cute. I wish y'all could really see how it looks when it's fluffy, but y'all get the idea. But anyways, the shampoo that I used was absolutely, I love, I love the shampoo I used. My hair feels really good, it smells even better. So I think I'm gonna keep using this, you know? Shout out to my sister, she know what she doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start retwisting my hair, but I'm not doing it in this video. So if you want to see how I retwist my hair with the mousse, then just go ahead and just wait for the new video to come out because you're gonna be like, wow, this girl, she coming through with the content and she coming with it. For this shampoo, I'm giving it a thumbs up. So if you are looking for a shampoo to use, go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna keep using this up until I, I mean, I'm still gonna buy different shampoos that I want to try just to see what works best for my hair. And if this is, if the one I, if the one I use is the best, then I'm gonna keep using it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.